So here today we have the brand new King TV Prodigy Gimbal. This is the largest gimbal that they make and uh, it is even larger than the full-size Ronin. Um, a lot of people work with you know the bigger cameras like the uh, Blackmagic Design Ursa Mini um, or larger setups that require more space and right now the workaround for the Ronin is to buy extension arms and uh, you know a couple of different add-ons that make you that allow you to fit bigger cameras. Well, this Prodigy gimbal has an overall larger frame size. So not only is it extended at the arms, but you're going to get more width within the frame and also more height within the frame. So you're not just compensating by adding some uh, add-ons that kind of throw the alignment off. This is actually just a larger gimbal. But there's a lot of carbon fiber here, so it is still lightweight. Um, and so I'm excited about this because I, I shoot with the Blackmagic Design Ursa Mini, and I have yet to find a gimbal that is kind of easy to just throw the camera on and go, you know, and be able to power everything up and, uh, you know, just shoot. So I'm excited to try the Ursa Mini here. Now, before we do that, I just wanted to show you guys how they're delivering this. Now, I've worked with Came TV for a while, and I remember the times they used to ship gimbals in a lot of bubble wrap and cardboard boxes, uh, but now everything comes in a case. Everything comes in custom cut foam. Um, but this is, I think, um, one of the best deliveries that I've gotten from them. So let me show you. They have a, you know, a legit, legit hard case. This is a really nice hard case. And I, I don't know if you can see, but it's also wheeled. So there's a handle that extends from the top here. So you get a, a roller uh, case included with this. Um, anyways, if you look inside here, let me try and get this out for you guys. All right, so I pulled the top tray out and you notice how well everything is packed up. This foam is very dense, so it's not like the uh, foam that was in their other gimbals that were, you know, kind of pliable and soft and I felt like it would eventually wear out. This is a very, very dense custom cut foam here um, and everything is laid out nicely. Uh, but everything here has a place really nice and then there's a bottom tray here inside of the case I'll show you that uh, everything is packed up nice and neat so before i unbox it i just want to show you guys how well they put this together and uh, then we'll start taking it apart and building it up um, let me show you the stand legit stand so huge huge stand here just uh, push buttons here on the side to build it up and then it has a telescoping middle here to get some height. Um, but let me get all the pieces out on the table, then we'll build it up and then we'll balance it out. Okay, so we have everything laid out um, that was inside of the case. Let me walk you through what it comes with. Uh, let's start with the top handles. So you got the top handles here and then the, um, the center top handle is put together just like this. And then you have your horizontal bars and then your side grips over here. They also include a monitor mount so you can attach this onto the handles. Oops. You got a wireless joystick. They give you a little tool kit here. Um, it's a hand driver with some different heads. Obviously the QR plate. In this bag is a bunch of miscellaneous parts. You have a, a front lens support. A little HDMI converter here um, and then you know your screw for the QR plate they also give you this um, quick release plate that you can use on this uh, gimbal when you're not using the top handle so you can attach this gimbal to something like a jib or something like that so this is a uh, got a couple of quarter 20s on the back you mount this QR plate and then you slide the gimbal directly on here so you can mount it to just about anything you want Obviously the gimbal frame, we've got a little HDMI right angle over here. Um, you get a battery case, which is just a case. Um, and then on the inside, you're gonna get one of these little battery holders in which you put four 18650 batteries into the holder and then it goes right into the case. And then that's how you would power your system. That's a pretty neat uh, battery system here because now you're not locked into buying proprietary batteries. These 18650s are found just about everywhere, fairly inexpensive, very reliable, 
And so now you can stock up on a ton of them if you just want to shoot like all day long. Um, yeah, let's start putting stuff together and then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll take a look at it. Okay, so here we have it fully built up. You can see the overall size. Um, we've got a lot of room here, a lot of width, a lot of depth, and a lot of height here. Uh, so this is just an overall bigger frame than what you're gonna find in the uh, DJI Ronin. Um, I believe the arms here are about 60 millimeters longer than the uh, stock Ronin. Uh, but despite the overall size, the gimbal is actually lighter. This falls about 8.4 pounds fully loaded just like this, whereas the Ronin comes in about uh, 9.3 pounds, so almost a pound lighter. Uh, you got a lot of square carbon tubing here, carbon tubing up here, a lot of cutouts in the metal. I mean, they made this thing as lightweight as possible, um, but this still should support a good amount of weight. Uh, so let's power this guy on. You don't want to do this unless you really have a camera balance, but we'll see what happens. Yep, there it goes. Looks like it's stabilizing just fine. So they have demos of this at NAB with um, some Blackmagic design cameras. Uh, and then the cool thing about this um, gimbal as well uh, that they're starting to do with all their gimbals is they're using slip rings at all of the motors. What that means is that you can rotate any motor a full 360 degrees. You never have to worry about any cables tangling because they're using some slip rings, which uh, goes for you know um, this area as well. You can rotate 360, no problem, all day. Your pan, just full 360. And this gimbal can also be used in inverted mode too. So you, you don't even need to power it off. While you're operating the camera, if you wanna go in inverted mode, you just rotate the handles over um, and then you're in inverted mode. So really cool gimbal. What I wanna do next is see how the Blackmagic Design Ursa Mini fits in here because again, I have yet to find a gimbal that's going to fit that the way I want it. Um, so let's get that set up and then we'll see how that looks. All right, so here it is. And just for scale, I left uh, a lot of stuff on the Ursa Mini, um, including the V-mount battery pack. And you see how much clearance we still have in the back end here. Um, and then I'm just using a Tokina 11 to 20 because, uh, you know, this is a cropped camera. So this kind of gives me a little bit of wide and then I can zoom in as well. Um, now, if we wanted to drop some additional weight, we could take off the top handle. We can actually take off this V mount from the frame here and just power the camera through its uh, XLR port. Uh, but we're not going to do that. Uh, I just wanted to leave everything on here just to show you, um, you know, just how much room we have to play with. As a matter of fact, we, we could rotate this, you know, practically all the way around. My Tokina lens just clears over the top here. So you see we have a lot of height. We have a lot of width over here. So I can run all my cables with ease if I want to do my monitor for my SDI out, or I could use this SDI out over here. Um, yeah, lots of options. And this is a big, heavy camera. So again, I would probably strip this down. I'd take my top handle off. i take this battery off. I'd power the camera a different way, and that would get it uh, even lighter. But let's just turn this on. Let's see what happens here. Really, really nice uh, gimbal. Um, I've walked around with it a little bit. Um, seems to balance just fine. I even went from uh, underslung mode to inverted mode which is you know crazy heavy but uh you know worked out great um so i'm really interested in taking this out and having some fun with it but uh you know this is it this is the came tv prodigy this is the big guy this is what a lot of people were waiting for because they wanted to support you know bigger cameras they wanted the extra room and instead of modifying the full-size ronin um they're giving it to you all right over here lots of lots of extra room look at that so we can on an fs7 absolutely no problem no problem fitting an fs7 in here even with your big battery pack on the back no problem at all so this is this is going to be a really fun one a gimbal i've been waiting for for a little while anyways um i'm going to do another video with uh you know some samples but uh, if you guys have any questions about this right now 
Let me know. Hit me up at the blog, cheesycam.com. I'll have a link below this video uh, for information about this product.